Hello, I'm Mark Price. I'd like to talk to you today about living in faith. I spent most of my life, young life, adult life, living out in the country. We had a lot of critters, a lot of dogs, a lot of cats, a lot of uh, rabbits, a lot of horses. And I noticed a long time ago that a dog reacts when he senses a rabbit. The ears go up, the tail starts to wag, he starts to bark, and if he can get out of the yard, he starts to, to, to run down the road chasing after the rabbit. Interestingly, the other dogs in the neighborhood, when they hear all this, they start to bark, hoop, holler, their tails start to go, their ears go up, and if they can get out of their yards, they start to run down the road chasing the rabbit also. Interestingly though, also, the Dogs start to break up. Some dogs, they quit, go home. More dogs quit, go home. Soon you have only one dog left chasing the rabbit. Which dog do you think it is? It's the first dog. And why is that? Because that's the only dog that actually saw the rabbit. <laughs> so why do we go to church? Do we go to church because Mom and Dad told us to. We were raised that way. We think that if we don't go, we go to hell. We, we go to church because our friends go there, because we like the music, we like the social activities. Why do we go? Or do we go because we know Jesus? We know Jesus in our mind and in our heart. We've seen in our own lives the rabbit. The, God, the reading today is from the Gospel of Matthew. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, what are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him 30 pieces of silver. And from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, go into the city to a certain man and tell him, the teacher says my appointed time draws near. In your house, I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the 12. And while they were eating, he said, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him, but woe to the man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man that he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of our Lord. In today's Gospel, Judas is right there, right at the table for Last Supper. He's there at the invitation of Jesus. Jesus has just washed his feet. The others are there also. All the other disciples are there. They're all together. And Jesus announces that he is going to be betrayed by someone who's sitting here at table. And what is Jesus, Judas's answer? He says, well, surely it's not me, Rabbi. Now think about that. Judas lied to Jesus, to his face, in front of the others. He lied to him by not telling him the truth. Now, how many times in our own lives, when we're confronted by our actions, do we lie? Do we misspeak? Do we try to misdirect? Do we try to hide what we had done? Well, here is Judas face to face with Jesus and lies by not telling him the truth right to his face. Now, many of us are bothered by the fact that we can't go to church these days because of the pandemic, and we should comfort ourselves with the knowledge that this will pass and the churches will soon open and we'll be able to come back together and, and pray and, and be together as we once were. But today I ask the question, does just going to church make us good Christians? Does just going to church make us good people of faith? Billy Sunday, who was a great evangelist from the early 1900s, 
once said that going to church makes you a Christian about as much as going in your garage makes you a car. You see, it's not just about going to church, as important as that is and as wonderful as that is. What's important is living every day in a way that we grow in our faith. And we do that by, on a daily basis, growing closer to God, on a daily basis, growing closer to the people that God has put in our lives. Judas Iscariot made a conscious decision to lie to Jesus. He made a conscious decision to betray Jesus. We must live our lives doing exactly the opposite. Patty O'Shea went to church every Sunday. When he died, he went to hell for what he did on Monday. <laughs> Do you see the rabbit? This is Mark Price. Thanks for listening.